It's right around 6.30 the next morning. We were supposed to get storms today. Um, but it looks like the forecast has changed uh, to more of a mild one. It looks like we're going to get partly cloudy today with a small chance of rain and fog this morning. We definitely have the fog, but no rain so far. So we might have a nice clear day today. This pond certainly doesn't need any rain. It's very high. So pretty, pretty crispy out there though. Just a little bit of, just a little bit of breeze, but it was glassy smooth about a half hour ago. Um, anyway, I've been up to a couple things this morning already while Meg's asleep. And uh, one of those things has been gathering the firewood. And I found myself a really nice birch limb. Right here, which I am just so excited about because it's perfect firewood and it's got tinder all over it. So, set there for a little while. Yeah, see what today brings. Anyway, perch, you just kind of start. I like to like slant up here so I don't miss out on some of this meat up here. There's definitely a, a pretty good amount of meat right up there, just uh, beyond the shoulder and behind the gill plate. So I start my cut there. This is a cheap fillet knife. It's not very sharp. There's a lot of guys that have really awesome fillet knives, and uh, maybe I'll get like a super good set next year when we come up or something but this is what i'm running with for now um and yeah so anyway punch down through there since i bled it it's got hardly any blood in it which is ideal it keeps the meat really fresh and uh, it makes it easier and less messy to clean by a long shot and i just kind of like make the slice all the way down and try to keep it well into the meat. I don't want to skimp myself out here and not get as much as possible. Basically, so straight to the tail with that. That's what I've been doing lately. And then I go in. Well, I gotta have to improve that cut a little bit there. Go in from the top here. And again, this is not a particularly sharp fillet knife. It'd be a lot easier with a slightly sharper one. I'm sure that there are pe people giving me crap for cutting towards myself here, but it just kind of is uh, the way I'm doing it, so whatever. Um, and I just like to try to go right along the the spines there and the, the fins up top. So again, I get as much meat off these as possible. fillet so that's how I do it I'm gonna know I'll just show I usually wait until after to do this um, but there's still some bones in here that I'm gonna try to get out um, and also want to get it off this skin here so I can throw it into some seasoning of some kind right off the bat guys perch fillet I'm gonna just rinse it up a little bit toss it in the bag with some seasoning and then clean up the rest of these perch and uh, that's how we're gonna do it so we'll show we'll update you when we put them in the grease all right guys I just finished cleaning up those perch um, there's all those fillets skinless boneless and first I'm going to throw in some just plain old seasoned salt in there. I'm not exactly sure everything that's in here, but it's it's pretty good. It worked really well with the panfish last time. So I'm going to 
put a pretty healthy amount in there. And then just kind of make sure it works its way onto all the meat. All right, and the next thing I'm throwing in there, next thing going in is gonna be just black pepper. Not gonna do quite as much of this stuff. Come on, what do we got going here? Guys? I like my black pepper, no doubt. Should be good on that though. Don't want to overdo it. And again, kind of just the same business. And just one more thing I want to do with these. is just a little bit of Frank's Red Hot. Not a ton. Not trying to spice it up too much, just give it that tang. It should do. Is that a... <laughs> I don't even know what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, try that again. Hey, bud. Hey. How you doing? Oh, I'm good. Cool. There is a daddy long leg in here. Oh. Uh, yep. Just pick him up by one of his legs and throw him out the window. That's what I did. Oh, nice. So anyway, those are our uh, little perch fillets. That's how I'm going to cook them up. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll see you then. All right, guys. So we got a uh, up there. Up there in our tent, underneath the fly, above our tent, we got the usual daddy long legs that you'll always find um, Adirondack camping, but up in there we got a uh, small spider is eating a, a pretty large horse fly right there, which is great, because um, anyone who experiences the ginormical horse flies of the Adirondacks needs all the help that they can get out here with them. And that is why we don't kill spiders. Oh, it's Dees. It's Dees. It's got me. Oh, it had me around a stick. That's why. I thought it was big. I don't think it's big. Oh, it's a bass. <laughs> Figure. Oh, he just, he, dude, he just threw up a Senko. He literally just threw up someone's Senko. <laughs> nah, I got him, but it's no big deal. He's not a very big one. I knew there'd be a dang fish in there, though. All right, bud. Is that what, um, Mark was using? A Senko? Yeah. Uh, yeah, the other day, uh, what's it called here? Back us off a little bit, bud, slowly. All right, guys, a little 14-inch bass. Nothing... Nothing to write home about, but still fun on light gear, especially. Smallie here. Yeah, I got a smallie. It's a oh, decent. I oh no, it's a largey. It's a large mouth. Another small large mouth. Just. Hooked in the chin. I'll back us out this time. Okay. Hey guys, yet another like 14 inch large mouth. Like I'm gonna get some smallies at some point here. Not that, you know, I'm having no issue with the fact that I have large mouth because I've been catching smallies all season. If you've been watching any of my videos, um, big smallies. So don't have any particular need to catch enormous small mouth today or this whole trip, but they are awful. A lot of fun, so. Nice. Oh, had a bite already. Got 
fight again. Oh yeah, they're stacked on that log, whatever they are. Um, I don't know. No? Yes, no? I depend. It depends on what it is. It's a little bass. Of course it is. It's exactly what I expected. <laughs> Alright. Oh! Get out of here! Ow! He spiked me! Don't worry about me, but you just... I'm just mess making a... Making a... a s Whoa! Dude! Huh? That was a perch. Wow. You're not gonna swallow it now, so... Guys, right after I shut off the camera there, I hooked a nice large mouth. He followed it right up and cracked my worm right in front of me. Here. Oh, gotta reel my line up. Oh, there you go. You got him. Thanks, bud. It's not a huge one. It's a, uh, thanks. Holy crap, he came right out from under that log though, man. Crushed the night crawler. Again, these bass, man. Bass on the crawler is funny as hell to me this year. Not that I ever thought it was impossible, it's just like, it's, it's never the thing that you expect to just get the big bass. And get a little bass. <laughs> See, that's the bass you expect to get on a night crawler. Man. That's a hefty fish though, again. He is not bad. Like the, I like the closed mouth shots a lot, personally. Good? Good. All right, see you later. 17 inch bass. It's a shiner. It's a good, that's an even better bait one though. That's a perfect bait one. That one's perfect, God. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, he's flinging water everywhere. Oh no! <laughs> hold up, hold up, I'll, I'll get us out. If I can, oh my God. Oh, it's a good one. Yeah, it's a good size fish. Oh no! Pulled off. We need to back up. We need to back up. We need to back up. We're too close. Okay, okay. You're good, bud. Yep. I knew that that could happen with the circle hook. Damn it. Never really had him. Shit. Get over here. What you got? Ooh, I got probably what you got. Yeah. No. no. Just it's a it's a about a pound and a pound of bass there. A little bit less. Three quarter pounder. <laughs> oh my god, there we go. Alright. I'm gonna try this one more time here. Damn it, man, that was a good one. There you go. Little, that is not even, not even a pound, that guy. He's a 13, 12 or 13 incher probably at most. Oh, something grabbed him. Oh no, he's just running. Something's trying to grab him. Oh, it got him. Yeah, I got him this time, I think. Yep. Come on, take him. Eat him this time. <clears throat> got him. Oh, oh, bud. That's a big one. That's a big one. Just net him when he comes in. My thing's on, right? Yeah. Okay. That's a better one. That's bigger than our other ones this trip so far. Yeah. Get out of there. Yup. That's a good fish. Here he comes. Thank you. Thank you, buddy. 
Sweet, I knew this spot wouldn't let us down. Now, you can try to back us out of here without doing any splashing or anything. That'd be great. Oh yeah, decent, decent bass. That's better than the other ones I've got so far to, uh, this year. Probably our biggest of the trip so far. Oh, sorry bud. <laughs> Up in your armpit. Well, there's the end of our shiners too, so. Man, he's fat. Oh yeah, oh yeah, buddy. <laughs> that's a nice fish. He's no five, that's for sure, but he's definitely getting up there now, this one. Let me see, let me see how, how long we are here. He's, eight, he's just over 18 inches. Yeah, he's probably 18 and a half inches. Yep. So, um, yeah, there we go. Okay. Got some good shots? How about that guy? Yep. Cool? Cool. All right. Man, big fat bass, guys. Oh, I got the purple ones. Oh, it's a fish. Dude, I got a good one. Ooh. It's not bad. You got that power worm, finally. Oh yeah, buddy. Oh my gosh. Come on. <laughs> nice net job, bud. You're as good as any with that net nowadays. You know that? You really are. You don't waste no time when you see your opportunity. So no. Just trying to back us out of here, so. Cool, I was just complaining about how I couldn't get any freaking bass out of here on artificials so far this year, but there we go. A decent one. Not bad, not a bad one. He's no 18, he's not even 16, but he's probably 15. We'll take a look. He's about a 15 inch bass. Oh, fudge, that hurt. 15 incher keeper, but not for me. Oh, I was just on in my backpack, I guess. Hey guys, I just, uh, like I said, the curse of turning my GoPro off and catching a huge perch. Um, I just caught this massive, massive perch right here. Oh, she just got a nice gill too. This is like a 12, 13 inch perch probably right here. I would say that is a good eater. I'm rather proud of that. What? <laughs> there goes Mr. Gill. Mr. Perch is coming home to be fried. Another huge gill. Not as huge as all of them. But. Ooh. Ooh, I got a perch oh, nice. Plop them in. That's a good one. Good, 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 good. Nice. <laughs> yeah, that's for you. Thanks. Am I going right now or? I don't even remember. Yep. Alright. <laughs> nice. That's not a bad one. I'll keep him too? Yeah. Alright. 10 incher. Maybe maybe 10, 9 and 10 inches. Definitely not the smallest. Definitely nope. not the biggest. Ow. Their gill plates are so sharp, man. 
All right. We could, whoa, is that another one? Yeah, it is. It's a little guy, yeah, I let that guy. Oh, there he is on the surface. Well, there's a, there's a school of perch over there. There's a loon out in front of us. Oh, he's showing his little white white belly. He just had his uh, wings up. Here, you, here, I'll pitch, I guess. Okay. Yeah, they like the weeds. The perch like weeds, weed lines that are right next to some wood or some kind of structure. There we go. It's another perch, I think. Nice. Another nice perch. Hell yes. Oh, worms right there. <laughs> <laughs> Great, I can't wait to fillet a bunch of these again. <laughs> At least I'm getting wicked fast at it, compared to what I used to be. Nice, 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 man. Once you find them, man, you pile into them. That's what I love about perch. Hey, do you want to split that worm with me, or do you want to just throw it back to me? Um, okay. Okay. Okay, guys, we are gonna give that one perch a measure here. We're back. It's a big old perch. All right. Quick. He is 12 inches. 12 inches on the nose. So it's all right about the same size as yours was, bud. Nice. Yep. Wow, he's super pretty. Like that with his big fin up. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they do kind of have like walleye. -esque. Yeah. They, well, they're of the same family, so. Mm -hmm. The net, guys, and Meg got herself a nice small mouth on the dink rod. It's okay, you don't have to horse him too. No, 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 don't crank that much. You don't have anything to lose him on here, really, and he's he's a smallie, so he's gonna fight really hard. You're just gonna have to work him back towards me, and I'm gonna try to lip him, but real, real, real. Yeah, real down on him. There you go, oh yeah. On the super light rod, on the six pound test. First floodwood smallie, can we do it? Oh, soaked me. Totally soaked me. Oh yeah, it's not a big guy. Get out of there. Come on, bud. Just trying to guide him towards me is all. Wow, they fight so hard, man. So much harder than, than largemouth. All right, got him. Woo. Woo! He took it down too. Nice job, bud. That rock is is awesome lately. Yeah. Ooh, that's there we go. Oh, God. It was hooked deep, but barely had him. Okay. Small mouth. Small very pretty. It's a male too. It's a very big male. Yeah, I'm so glad that we don't have our camera. <laughs> it's okay. You've got way bigger small mouth than that guy. Well, here, he does. Go ahead. There. there. Very nice. Nice smally. All right, throw him back, buddy. Fighting like hell. As always, you know, I'm just going to toss this since we're right here. Yeah. Let's see, smallies are much more reliable worm biters, typically. But it's been a hell of a largemouth show until finally now. Oh. Oh no, that was a good fish. That felt decent. I mean, Worst comes to worst, we go get it. It's not really a big dealio. Oh, you got him. What'd you get? Oh, I got one too. Oh, <laughs> they're both decent, aren't they? Oh, yeah, mine's diving pretty good. <laughs> oh, here's another rock bass. This is not a rock bass. Oh, no, it's definitely not a rock bass. It's a largey. It's a largey. 
my thing going again? Or yep. still? Oh my god. This this whole pond is made of content, man. Look at that. How the hell is not our night crawlers the just absolute de like best bass bait around right now? It's another two plus pounder here. <laughs> oh, the bump board's not even here either. So. No, nope. no, we're going out bare minimum. Yep, we are. That's okay. Just con time. There we oh, go. Barely, double, barely double got him. Oh yeah. Definitely, mm. this one is as important as yours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There, guys, another nice bass. How can you get tired of this? Big bass on night crawlers. He's a pretty fish. All right, see you later. <laughs> Dude, that rock is loaded right now. Yeah, you go through the hmm. Branch. Just came over a branch. I really thought I'd hit one on this. Can you not get your thing close enough? There you go. Better. Slightly better. Mm -hmm. Not the worst. Ooh. What is that? I think it's a bass. Oh, it's not a bad bass, huh? How big, though? I think he's a big, big guy. I think he's. Oh, it's a big, big bluegill. Is it? Oh yeah, <laughs> it's a huge one. Yo. That's got to be a PB. Thing fought like insanity. Look, yo. That's a huge guy. I wish I had. Oh, I might have my little. Uh... Measuring tool. Yeah. All right, he is, nope, not as big as I thought. Just, I mean, lengthwise, he's only uh, nine inches. Wow. Just really, really tall and fat. Very impressive yeah, bluegill. Very hefty. Yeah. It's the size of the big guy that I got at him. Um, here you go. At, uh, where did I get him? Here. here you go. Very nice, bud. Well done. Gigantical bluegills. <laughs> Okay, yeah, let's, uh, I'm gonna throw this worm for a bit, cause... <laughs> wow. Oh, good one. Good gill, dude. Oh. Tank. <laughs> That's a pretty one. Yeah, not as big as the last guy, but... Big bull gill. Dude. <laughs> Stop. Just grab them and toss them in. Toss them. There you go. Fish. I think. Oh no! Dude. Hey guys, I finally got one on the bait caster. It's a bass. This is like the third one I've hooked over here. Oh, that feels decent. I can't tell, this rod is super thick. Oh, not bad. Not huge. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> That's all right, no, I'm, I'm happy I got to fight him out this time. Cause I don't have my damn net, but there's something over there they're hanging on significantly. And they're biting super good right now. Was that a small mom? That's a largey. Was it? Little largey, yeah. He's only maybe like a two pounder. 